Now this flag image has such an even background that it should be easy to isolate and select with the magic wand tool. I'll drag it over and then select it. To follow the illustration comp, I'll flip it horizontally before I proceed. Choose Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Next I'll scale it, so I'll type Command or Control T and enter the scale factor right in the option bar itself. Now I'll select the blue areas with the magic wand tool. You'll find that when I have the contiguous option unchecked, it went ahead and made most of the selection for me. But additionally, it also selected parts of the blue circle that I did not want to have selected. So I'm going to switch to the Lasso tool next, hold down the option of the Alt key, and subtract this area from the selection. The next thing I might want to do to finesse the selection a little bit is to select the Grow command. And finally, invert the selection. Now I'll click the Add Layer Mask icon to reveal the selection. Now, as a last step, after we've repositioned, we're ready to add a soft fade to this flag element. Since we already have a layer mask in place, I'll use the Linear Gradient tool set to the Multiply mode so it doesn't change or alter the existing mask in any way. First be sure to click on the layer mask icon and then drag from the part that you wish to be completely opaque to about the edge. If you wish to redo the gradient, simply type Command or Control Z and redo it. Let's take a look at what this does to the layer mask. It turns out that the multiply mode that we set allows us to create the blend in the areas that were white or selected. It does not affect the black areas that were previously masked out. On the other hand, if you had set it to the normal blend mode, your gradient would have overwritten the existing mask and you would not get the desired result. And as before, one of my favorite tricks to unify a composite is to either add a photo filter or a color overlay layer on top. But first, I'll create a new layer that's a composite of all the layers below. To do this, I type Command, Option, Shift, and N, and then the letter E immediately. That's a shortcut that allows me to gather up all the information in the layers below and drop it on this new layer that we create as part of the shortcut. Then choose Image, Adjustments, Photo Filter. And choose one of the options to add a very subtle cast right on top so that all of the elements in the composite are unified. you see that we've ended up with a very clean looking composite image thanks to some well constructed selections and masks.